What's going on YouTube? Today we have another unboxing video. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Goal Zero Power Bank and Solar Panel Kit. Uh, this was purchased on Amazon for $149.95. Um, seemed like a pretty pretty cool product. Um, the, the reason for my purchase was uh, we're going to be doing some tent camping here in the future. So I wanted something that was going to be able to you know capture some solar power um, and then I wanted a basically a power bank to be able to you know take care of uh, charging phones. Uh, the tent that we that we purchased is a core six person instant pop uh, lighted tent, so it does have um, a battery pack that you can use. But I opted for something that that would store a little bit more power and, and last a little bit uh, longer than that. So uh, this whole charging kit is going to include the Nomad Ten and the Venture 35. So the Nomad 10 is gonna be your solar panel and the Venture 35 is gonna be that uh, power bank there. So uh, pretty pretty interesting product. Um, not sure you know, how I feel about it so far, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and you know crack this thing open, kind of take a look at it, see. Um, I, I've never actually owned any Goal Zero product, so I don't really um, have anything to compare uh, you know, their stuff too. I do have quite a few power banks already. Um, they've lasted me for years. I've had no issues with them. Uh, the, per the main purchase for this was really to get that solar panel. And, you know, I thought with the solar panel plus the power bank for $149.95, I thought that was a, a pretty good deal. So uh, just real quick, we'll go over some specs on this thing. Um, so I guess it'll charge uh, up, to, up to one tablet, three cell phones, uh, seven headlamps and I guess some some point of view cameras like a GoPro uh, it'll do um, six of those I guess you know full charge from from dead to full um, so yeah like you see capture sunlight collects it stores it in the power bank and then you go ahead and power up your devices so we will uh, we'll get this thing cracked open here and you know see what we got I will be doing a review video on this uh, in a separate video after I've had some time to actually check it out and you know make sure it's a you know make sure I can give you guys an honest review on this. Uh, it was purchased with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. There will be a link in the uh, description for Amazon on where you can purchase this if if that's something that you're interested in. Um, so far, I mean, the packaging seems pretty good. Nothing was damaged. It came in an Amazon box. Uh, so there you go. Here's the Nomad 10 solar panel. Feels really, really sturdy. I've actually never owned a solar panel before, so this is going to be the first time for me. Uh, let's see here. Okay, well, I'll have to take a look at how that releases. Definitely don't want to break it. Okay, so yeah, it just kind of pops up right there. It's got adjustable. So you can basically rotate this around. And... So we'll get into this. We'll see what the uh, recommendation is for on how to mount that. Go ahead and set that aside for now. Okay, so here we got some instructions. Looks like we have a nice USB-C cable. So USB-A to USB-C. We'll go ahead and open this up and take a look at that. That seems like Goal Zero's cable. Doesn't seem like one of those cheap generic ones. So yeah, we got a pretty decent cable. So I guess this is gonna be what's coming out of our solar panel, feeding that power bank. Okay. Right, on the back side of this, we have a, wow, this feels, this feels very, very durable. Um, you got a little bit of rubberized overmold on the outside. Uh, I believe that's aluminum fins. Not sure if that's intentionally there for, for heat dissipation or what, but I will absolutely read into that and, and find out more. I'm sure I'm going to know more information 
uh, once I'm doing my review video. Uh, but yeah, as far as, uh, I mean, first thoughts, I mean, this thing is, is, is really, really stout. Uh, it's got a nice little rubber plug here, or rubber or silicone uh, plug, moisture plug to keep everything. I have a two bank USB, uh, that's gonna be for your output. And then that USB-C is gonna be for your, for your input to go ahead and, and get power to this. And it does actually tell you that there on that, on that plug. So it's gonna be a five volt, three amp output on both USB A's and then an 18 watt in or out from that USB-C. So there you go. So if you want a USB-C charge something, go ahead right there. Looks like we have an LED flashlight. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you power that on. There's definitely an LED there. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a flashlight or, or what that's used for. Once again, I'm gonna dig into this once I you know, have some time with it and do a proper review video on this. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's it. That's what you got in the kit. You have the charge cable, solar panel, and the battery power bank. So, I mean, if this is something that you're you're looking for, whether you're you know using it uh, for camping trips, if you just want to have you know a nice solar panel, uh, you know for weekends away, you want to just make sure that you have some you know some backup power just in case you have a power outage, uh, whatever the case may be. I think just on on initial my initial thoughts, I'd say this is a very very well built product. Uh, this solar panel does seem a bit stiff. I'm not, not entirely sure. Um, obviously, we're going to have some ribbon cables going through to each of these uh, solar banks. Um, but overall, the, the, the build quality is just fantastic. Everything feels sturdy. Nothing feels cheap. Uh, so there you go. You have your USB-A uh, port right there to go ahead and get some juice into that power bank or, you know, I'm, I'm sure this could be used as a solar panel by itself with other power banks. So, um, you know, don't feel that if you buy this kit, you're, you're limited to just um, recharging the goal zero. This seems like it will uh, recharge anything with a USB-A device. Just check your power ratings, um, check the, the manufacturer's specs on the power rating so you don't overload your device. I'm not sure if you can go direct from this solar panel to a USB device. Let's see if it's got any information here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. I'll have to I'll have to dig through um, and see if I can find some more information on that once I read through the instructions. Um, like I said, I'm gonna leave a I'm gonna leave a link for this product uh, for Amazon in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, you want me to further look at something, uh, I'll do my best to to respond. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can put out some more good content for y'all. And thanks for watching.